Hey, what's up, everybody? DJ Antimatea Tokyo here, and I'm coming at you guys after about three and a half years of not doing any DJ tutorials. Now, the reason I haven't did any tutorials since December 4th, 2009, and doing one today, is because back at that time, I had this really shitty DVD camera, and the video quality was terrible, I swore to myself I wasn't going to do any more DJ tutorials until I upgraded to an HD uh, camera. And finally HD cameras had become affordable. I bought one. I'm using it now obviously. And so now I'm going to record more DJ tutorial videos and I'm going to do it more frequently now. I hope that these videos help you guys out a lot with what you're trying to accomplish as a DJ or as an audio technician etc and just practice and enjoy it. I hope it helps you get to where you want to be. Uh, in this particular video, I'm going to show you guys how to take things from the vinyl techniques to your laptop PC or desktop, whatever, and record your, your mixes as an MP3 or just redubbing your stuff as an MP3 and getting it off of vinyl. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, I'm getting ready to show you guys now the equipment and the tech that you need to get the job done. As long as you have all these components that I'm getting ready to show you now inside the video, there should be no problem, no excuse, reason why you cannot dub your stuff over from vinyl or from CDJ or whatever you want to plug into the laptop and record it as an mp3 the first thing obviously you're gonna to have to have is turntables and a needle in the record and all that good stuff now this is the usual setup you plug the vinyl turntable into the mixer and of course I got a single cup headphone here and I use this to monitor what I'm listening to as I'm recording it make sure everything is good get up a little bit closer here so I want to show you guys the levels I leave all my levels set to normal have them all pointing up to the top uh, I figure I'm gonna record my mix like this and if I'm playing these tracks on CD or mp3 later inside the club then I can just manipulate it later live using the mixer at the club but as I'm recording it I have to have some kind of standard of how I'm going to record my whole collection in I don't want to keep changing the settings for each one so I just left everything as is in the normal default position and I'm recording everything that way but I do use some special uh, software and some effects inside the software to make the music sound a little bit more better so I had one Technics uh, SL12000 MK5 connected to my Pioneer mixer. And then I got the Pioneer mixer connected to my MacBook. And the program that I'm using is Audacity. Uh, Audacity should be a free download. And I think this is available for Mac users and for PC users. And... The one thing that I want to tell you if you're a Mac user, when I initially started doing this project, I was recording my mixes using GarageBand. Now I noticed after I finished recording using GarageBand that I was having some noise that I couldn't really explain inside of all of my mixes. And I, I wasn't hearing that noise through my headphones when I was monitoring the track as I was playing it from from the record player but for some reason it was showing up inside of my inside of my mix 
I have no reason why that is, but the quality was pretty bad. So then I discovered uh, re-recording re the same song inside of Audacity, I noticed a big change in sound quality. It was a big jump, a big improvement. So now I'm re-recording everything inside of Audacity. And this is the program that I recommend. And I say, don't touch GarageBand at all. And all your special effects that you're going to do to increase the quality of the track, you do all of these things using Audacity inside the effects menu. All right, so anyways, so I showed you the mixer and I showed you the turntable and I showed you the laptop. The one thing I did not show you, sorry, I got the camera a little bit close here, was this cable. And I have this plugged in to my mixer. This one is a simple RCA cable. You can see that there. Now this is RCA going to a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. But instead of plugging it inside the headphone jack, you're going to plug it inside the line in input of your MacBook or MacBook Pro or the equivalent if you're using PC. And then the RCA cables, this goes inside of your inside of your master out of your of your mixer and as long as you have that cable and you have the three components uh, the three main pieces of tech that I showed you everything should be good all right now that was it for this DJ tutorial I knew that that one was going to be a very big one because everybody's asking the question, how do I get my mixes from my records to my laptop? So hopefully this video gets a lot of hits and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked the video and it was a big help to you, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. What more can I say, but just practice and enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.